Hey everyone, welcome to Finding Limits Algebraically. So I'm going to do a few extra examples on how to find limits algebraically. And what you have here is really kind of a lot of uh, different ways to do or find limits algebraically. And the first step is always to try to direct substitute. Uh, and if you can't do that, then we kind of start going down the list here to see what one of these things may work for us. Okay, so the first two examples, we're going to do one direct substitution again, and then one factoring problem. So these are the, the most common ways algebraically we need to find limits. So let's go ahead and look at two examples. Okay, so uh, find the limit of each of the following. Okay, so uh, the first one is a polynomial. Okay, so let's look at part A. So the limit as x is approaching 2 of 5x squared minus 2x plus 3. Now this is a polynomial. There's no fraction. There's no way I can make this undefined. It's a polynomial. It's continuous. So this is what we talk about direct substitution. So if I wanted to rewrite that and say the limit as x is approaching 2, okay, I can say of 5x. I'm just going to rewrite my problem here. Okay, and now since I'm going, I'm just going to try to direct substitute. So I'm going to say the limit is going to be 5 times 2. Okay, it's approaching 2, not negative 2, sorry. And we're going to go ahead and wherever we see an x, we're directly substituting in for uh, x with 2. So I have 5 times 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4 plus 2. 3, so 20, I'll just go ahead and do the algebra here, 20 minus 4 plus 3, so that ends up being 20 minus 4 plus uh, 5, or 3, excuse me, is 19. So the limit as x is approaching 2 of this function is going to be the value 19. Now, if we go ahead and look at this second example, if I look and want to just to plug 2 in here, I would have 2 cubed, uh, minus 8 over 2 minus 2. That is actually 0 over 0. That could be used with L'Hopital's rule. We're not quite there yet. So we're going to go ahead and do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to go ahead and start by factoring. And the numerator is the difference of two cubes. So we're going to have the numerator as being x minus 2 times the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 4. So we have to know that difference of two cubes pattern. So then we have over x minus 2. Now the whole point is when you factor, we're trying to eliminate the problem. It's not a problem to have a 0 in the numerator. It's a problem to have a 0 in the denominator. So we are going to remove, this becomes 1, right? Because those are common terms. And we have essentially removed that problem and uh, of being able to plug in 2. So now I go ahead and rewrite what I have left. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and go back to step one, and I'm going to see if I can direct substitute. Okay, and so since I have a quadratic here, I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to just plug in two, and I get two times x plus four, sorry, two times two, and I get four plus four plus four, which is 12. So the limit as x approaches two of this function, x cubed minus eight over x minus two is going to be 12. So if you have any questions or comments, you can go ahead and type them below, uh, and we'll see you next time.